Would you please remain standing? <laughs> Thank you. Will you please remain standing for the national anthem played by the Livingston Academy Band? followed by opening remarks by Senior Easton Goodpasture. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you for allowing us to gather here today one last time as Livingston Academy, class of 2023. As we get ready to close this chapter of our lives and begin a new one, I pray that wherever we may go, that we choose to put you first in our lives and that we continue to, that you will continue to guide us and make decisions that will honor you and glorify you. I want to thank you, Heavenly Father, for the last four years that we have spent together as a class at LA. We have made many friendships and memories that will carry with us forever. I ask you, Heavenly Father, to watch over us and protect us as we set out to make a difference in this world. We pray for wisdom to make smart choices. We pray for strength to face our struggles. We pray for patience as we try to find our, our way. And we pray for forgiveness whenever we are wrong. We pray that you will always be there with us. Heavenly Father, I ask you to watch over the sick and afflicted and put your healing hand over them. If it is your will, please return them to their much wanted health. I also ask for the protection of our military personnel and ask you to deliver them back home safely to their families. Also, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for your son, Jesus Christ, who you sent on the world to this world who bled, suffered, and died so we can have a hope in heaven with you. In Christ Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Easton. You may be seated. It is my honor to welcome our students, their families, their friends, fellow educators, and the Overton County School Board members to the 2023 Livingston Academy Commencement Ceremony. I'm Richard Melton. I'm the principal at Livingston Academy. Please join me at this time in welcoming to the stage LA Class of 2023 Class President, Darren Knatzer.
I want to thank everyone for coming today. And uh, I wrote out my speech today. And I'm going to start it with, today is a big day. Oh. Today is a big day that we have been eagerly waiting for. As we gather here to celebrate our graduation, I feel a sense of pride and accomplishment for all of us. This part of our life to get here was not easy. It took a lot of hard work dedication and sacrifice but we did it and we should be proud of ourselves as we move on to the next chapter of our lives I want to remind you that this is just the beginning this is not the destination but rather the first step to the future it's important to keep pushing ourselves to learn grow and achieve achieve more I also would like to thank our families friends who have supported us throughout this part in our lives their love, encouragement, and steady support that has been a big part in our success. To our faculty and staff, thank you for your guidance, leadership, and expertise. You have helped us make into the individuals we are today, and we will be forever grateful. As we get ready to leave this part of our lives behind and enter on a new, enter on a new journey, let us remember to stay true to ourselves, follow what we believe in, and make a positive impact on the world. We're future leaders, change makers, and the world needs us to make the world a better place. And we cannot do this without God in our lives. God is the leader, and he helps us get through what we need to, just like the speech. So as, I, as we say goodbye to this part of our lives, let us welcome the challenges and opportunities that, we, that are ahead of us. Congratulations to our class of 2023. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to recognize the Overton County School Board members, Overton County officials, state representatives, military representatives who are seated on stage. We appreciate what you do for the entire school system and all of our students. I'd also like to recognize LA's entire support staff and our teachers, many of whom are present today to celebrate the class of 2023. Overton County is truly blessed to have many special, talented educators and support staff in each of our schools. I know there are many of those here with us today who played an important role in these students' lives from pre-K, elementary and middle schools, and eventually through high school. Thank you all for making a positive difference in the lives of our children. Also on stage today are members of our guidance and administration teams at LA. Thank you to each of you for what you do each day in assisting with today's event. The educated, educators seated on the floor level behind today's seniors who are wearing black commencement robes are members of the class of 2023 Honor Guard. Each Honor Guard member was selected by a graduating senior to be recognized as a former educator who has made a lasting impact on his or her life. It's truly an honor to have been chosen Honor Guard. Will the Honor Guard members please stand? Thank you, you may be seated, and thank you for your influence on these young people. 
At this time, I'd like to recognize the class of 2023 class officers. Please stand as I call your names. Student Council Members Macy Arnold, Alex Johnson, Emma Grace Sullivan, Zachary Young, Secretary Jessica Daly, Treasurer Easton Goodpasture, Vice President Rachel Long, President Darren Knatzer. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the faculty and staff at Livingston Academy, I'd like to thank our district supervisors for their leadership each day and their support. And it's my pleasure at this time to introduce Overton County Schools Director, Dr. Donnie Holman. Students, today is a special day. It's a day of celebration. Uh, I'd like for each one of you to look at the crowd that's turned out today to celebrate you. All of us here are extremely proud of you and all that you've accomplished. We all want to see each one of you go forward and do well, be very successful. Parents and guests, thank you. Thank you for doing all that you have done for this group of graduates. Thank you for your support of our school system, and thank you for working with us. Students, I hope that each one of you continue to work hard, have a plan, always aim high, and have high expectations for yourself. Do not let others drag you down. And students, remember this. Today we're talking about good things, but remember that there'll be good days and that there'll be bad days ahead for everybody. Focus on the good ones. Minimize and learn from the difficult situations that we have in life, those things that you must endure, but never let anything get you down. Just like your family, we are here to support you and we'll always be here for you. Thank you, Dr. Holman. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure to introduce today's keynote speaker. Dana Mabry Schoonover is a 1993 graduate of Livingston Academy. She currently lives in Denver, Colorado with her husband of 23 years. Dana found her true calling in fashion. Founding her fashion brand 10 years ago, she is the definition of an entrepreneur willing to work 60 hours for herself so she doesn't have to work 40 for someone else. Recently, Dana got closer to her roots when she and her family moved to a house on a dirt road that reminds her of Livingston. Now she grows her own vegetables, has two giant dogs and a flock of chickens, and she has donated two $20,000 scholarships to the class of 2023. I'm so proud to introduce my classmate, today's keynote speaker, Ms. Dana Schoonover. Livingston Academy class of 2023. It's such an honor to be with you today. 30 years ago, I sat in the same seat you, did, you are in today. I remember how it felt to leave home and go to the University of Tennessee, whose undergraduate population is five times the size of Livingston. And I thought how these kids from larger towns, wealthier backgrounds, and generally more experience in life, knew so much more than I did. It took me years to understand that information doesn't equal knowledge, that money can only buy you so much, and what a gift it was to grow up in a small town like Livingston. I want you all to know that you're stepping into the world at such an advantage 
because you weren't just raised by parents and you weren't just raised by families, you were raised by a town. The world is more connected than ever before and yet people are reporting more loneliness and isolation. In fact, the Surgeon General just released a report this spring calling loneliness and isolation an epidemic. Study after study shows more social connections increase happiness and resilience in life. And I know sometimes you wish you knew fewer people on the street, especially if you are doing something that you do not want your mother to know about. But those social connections put you at such an advantage as you take your first steps into adulthood. Another advantage to being raised by a town, lots of people out there have been teaching you how to have manners, which should never be underestimated. You guys, I have not lived in the state of Tennessee in 25 years and I still speak with a very pronounced accent. And having lived all over the country, lots of people have made fun of that accent. Um, in fact, I was just at my son's school a couple of weeks ago and a woman I was speaking with actually looked at me and said, called my accent ridiculous. And <laughs> it, this used to make me so angry. I couldn't believe that people were being so rude. And now I just think, my goodness, this woman has to go out and be in the world like this. And, and I know looking out at you, you would never say that to someone because growing up in a very tight-knit community, you know that if you're rude to someone, you might see them at li in line at the bank or at the food lion or in church on Sunday. And so I, I just want you to know that because you were raised in such a tight-knit community, you take other people's feelings into account more often. And in the world that we live in today, that very frankly is a superpower. Finally, one of the biggest benefits of growing up in Livingston, Tennessee, is that no matter where you go in life, how far away you roam, you always have a place that is home. And you always have people that know you. And in today's world, where the average person moves 11 and a half times in their lifetime, having a place that is known, that knows you, and that you can return to and see your second grade teacher or someone that you played basketball with in high school is one of the most special gifts you'll ever have. So in conclusion, my friends, I hope that you feel very proud and confident that you can do big things because you were fortunate enough to be raised by a town. Thank you. Thank you so much, Dana. On Thursday night at our annual awards ceremony, many of our seniors were recognized individually for their accomplishments by being presented with certificates, medals, stoles, and cords. We will recognize these seniors today in groups. Livingston Academy has four honor societies and one special honor society. Beta Club members are wearing gold stoles to acknowledge that they have maintained a 3.5 or higher grade point average and that they have participated in service projects and leadership development. These students also have a gold Beta seal on their diplomas. There are 58 Beta Club members in this class. Would you please stand, Beta Club members, to be recognized? Thank you. 
National Honor Society members are wearing white stoles to acknowledge that they have maintained a 97 or higher GPA throughout their high school careers. They will have a, a gold National Honor Society seal on their diplomas. Would the 29 members of the National Honor Society please stand? Thank you. Row Kappa National Social Studies Honor Society members are wearing blue and white double cords to recognize their exemplary achievement in social studies. Will those 23 Rho Kappa members please stand? Thank you. Tri-M Honor Society members are wearing pink cords to acknowledge their academic and, and music excellence. Would our Tri-M Honor Society members stand for recognition? Very good, thank you. 28 and Up Club members are wearing gold tassels to acknowledge that they have achieved an ACT composite score of 28 or higher. Will the 10 members of the 28 and Up Club please stand? Thank you. Livingston Academy utilizes the Latin honor system, which is a weighted grade point average system. Here, all early post-secondary opportunity classes are weighted at five quality points. Those include advanced placement, dual enrollment, dual credit, and national industry certification courses. Grades in more challenging courses are awarded higher point values. Honors courses are weighted at 4.5, and regular courses are weighted at 4.0. The Tennessee Uniform Grading Policy sets these weights to keep them consistent across the state. This system helps reward students for taking more challenging courses, and with the higher GPAs required by many colleges, more students then earn scholarships. This is a comprehensive award system that includes grades in all courses taken throughout the students four years of high school and it allows us to better recognize all students who work hard to achieve high levels of academic excellence. This year we have 31 students who earned a 3.75 to 3.99 weighted GPA. This earns the recognition of graduating with cum laude honors under the Latin honor system. These students are wearing bronze medals to recognize their achievement. Will the students who are graduating cum laude please stand. Congratulations. Thank you. You may be seated. We have 24 students who have achieved a 4.0 to 4.2499 weighted grade point average, which, er which earns the recognition of graduating magna cum laude, or with great honor. These students are wearing silver medals. At this time, will those who are graduating magna cum laude please stand to be recognized. Thank you, you may be seated. Finally, within the Latin Honor System, we have 22 students who earned higher than a 4.25 grade point average and will graduate summa cum laude, or with highest honor. These students are wearing gold medals. This is our highest academic honor, which requires students take an extremely challenging course load while maintaining near perfect grades. Students graduating summa cum laude, please stand as I call your names and we'll ask the audience to hold their applause until the list is complete. Bailey Allred, Alyssa Chaffin, Avery Chaffin, Cora Connor, Lily Copeland, Nathan Kogel, Emma Dolworth, 
Easton Goodpasture, Nora Hill, Alex Johnson, Carly Johnson, Jewel Beth Krantz, Aaron Moffitt, Eliza Nelson, Tucker Pendergrass, Matthew Savage, Amelia Scarlett, Thomas Sevier, Anna Marie Smith, Gabrielle Thompson, Jackson Walker, Zachary Young. Ladies and gentlemen, these students are graduating summa cum laude. Congratulations, you have a seat. Thank you. This year's Senior Academic Awards winners are listed in your programs and were also recognized at the awards ceremony on Thursday night. Awards were given for Agriculture, FFA, Art, Business, FBLA, Computer Science, English, Family and Consumer Science, FCCLA, Foreign Language, Health Science, HOSA, Science, Social Studies, John Phillips Sosa Band Award, Girl State, Most Improved, Activities Award, School Spirit Award, National Athletes Excellence Award, Academics Excellence Award, and Semper Fidelis Music Awards. Students, if you receive those awards, please stand at this time. <laughs> Thank you all. Several students are wearing activities honor cords in recognition of their extracurricular service. Those honor cords are listed in your programs. Students, if you're wearing those honor cords, activities honor cords, please stand. Go ahead. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Thank you, you may be seated. Students, if you have earned an academic, an athletic, a leadership, or achievement scholarship this year, please stand up. Any scholarship. Very good, thank you and congratulations. Additionally, students who earned a 3.0 GPA or 21 ACT composite are eligible for Tennessee Hope scholarships. We call those the lottery scholarships that are worth up to $30,000 each over the next five years. Students, if you qualify for Tennessee Hope scholarships, please stand. Congratulations. You may be seated. Students also have had the opportunity to earn the Tennessee Promise Award, which guarantees two years of tuition-free post-secondary education at a Tennessee College of Applied Technology or at a community college. Students, if you completed the Tennessee Promise program, please stand. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of the Livingston Academy class of 2023 has been awarded more than $1.7 million in awards and scholarships to be used over the next four years. Let's give them a round of applause for that. The Tennessee Scholars Program is an education initiative by the Tennessee Chamber of Commerce. Along with strict academic guidelines, students must perform 80 hours of volunteer community service during the four years of high school and must maintain at least 95% attendance for all four years. Qualifying students are wearing medallions and will have a Tennessee Scholars seal on their diplomas. Will the 24 students who are Tennessee Scholars please stand up? Thank you. Livingston Academy, along with the Highlands Workforce Development, offers the Work Ethics Diploma Honor to recognize students for work-related characteristics 
and to recognize students who meet those higher standards. These students are wearing medallions. They'll have a work ethics seal on their diplomas and will receive a work ethics card that guarantees them interviews at several local business and industry partners. Will the 47 seniors who are work ethics honorees please stand? Thank you. The state of Tennessee Department of Education provides consistent standards across the state for graduation honors. Students who achieved the national benchmark scores on all four ACT subtests will graduate with honors. There are 39 of them. Students, if you are graduating with honors, please stand. Thank you. Students who have a 3.0 GPA and meet one of several criteria graduate with the highest state honor, which is graduating with distinction. These criteria include attending a Tennessee governor's school, being a national merit finalist or semifinalist, completing 12 or more dual credit hours, earning a national industry certification, or achieving a 31 or higher ACT composite score. Please stand if you're one of our 81 seniors who are graduating with distinction. Congratulations. You may be seated. I'd like to recognize two students who have perfect attendance, Bailey Allred and Connor Virgil Reagan. Please stand. They both have perfect attendance for all four years at LA. Great job. Thank you. Beginning their junior year, LA students have the unique opportunity to complete post-secondary education programs through our local institutions. The following students have earned certifications from TCAT. Please stand as I call your names. Thomas Barlow, Eli Melton, Jaden Cummings, and Zachary Caney have earned their 596 meter certifications, and Thomas Barlow also earned precision measuring instruments certifications. Congratulations. Thank you. We also have six seniors who are graduating not only with their high school diplomas today, but they've also earned diplomas from TCAT. Students, please stand as I list your TCAT diploma honors as well. Trevor Brown, Anthony Ledbetter, and Tanner Mick have completed their welding programs at TCAT. Congratulations. Also, Elaney Emery, Madison Neff, and Abigail White have finished their CNA programs. Congratulations. Our next recognition is for students who took dual enrollment courses at Ball State. Students, please stand if you earn three or more hours of dual credit at Ball State. Remain standing if you've earned six or more hours at Ball State. Remain standing if you've earned nine or more. Keep standing if you have 12 or more hours. Remain standing if you have 15 or more dual credit hours at Ball State. Remain standing if you've earned 18 or more hours. Keep standing if you have 21 or more. If you have 24 or more. If you have 27 or more. And if you have 30 or more. You have 33 or more. 36 or more, 37. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Amelia Scarlett has earned 39 dual enrollment hours. The 
class of 2023 at LA is moving in many directions after today. As I read through them, students, please stand and remain standing until the list is complete, okay? These are their plans for the future and where they, were, where they will further their educations. Our first recognition of future plans, though, is truly honorable and truly noble. Five students in the LA class of 2023 will or have joined the United States military. Please hold your applause, thank you, until I've recognized all five. Matrix Dodson is not here today because he's already in training the US Army. Please stand though, Devin Isabel, United States Army, Isabel Mamana, United States Navy, Joseph Bajorquez, Braden Edwards, Kaylin Garrett, United States National Guard. Ladies and gentlemen, join me at this time. Give them the honor that they deserve. Thank you so much. Thank you, students. As we celebrate the next step in your education, students, seniors, please stand and keep standing. And you guys who are going to the military can stand again, too. As I call your names, as I call your college, and stand until the list is complete. And we'll see how many people have already made plans. If you're going to Franklin College, Tennessee Wesleyan, Mississippi State Community College, Maryville College, University of the South Sewanee, Middle Tennessee State University, University of Tennessee Chattanooga, University of Tennessee Martin, University of Tennessee Knoxville, East Tennessee State University. Volunteers State Community College. Tennessee College of Applied Technology, or TCAT. And finally, Tennessee Technological University. Thank you, you may be seated. Congratulations, seniors, on today's milestone and for making plans for your future. I have a message for this class. I'm extremely honored to have been your principal. For the last four years and to have been on this journey with you. As you move past today's milestone, always strive to do what's right. Keep your families close. In a short period of time, you will also forever be Livingston Academy alumni. Life passes so quickly. Enjoy each day and work hard to reach your goals and then set new goals. Seniors, I'm speaking to you. But this also applies to the rest of us. Here are two immensely powerful ideas available to every person in this room. Stay reminded of these two things that are so powerful. And ironically, they're very simple ideas. But they're right there within your reach every day. Be open to owning control over these two things. The first is the power of perspective. There's so many things in life that we have no control over, but we can control our own perspectives. We can control how we see things and how we let things affect us. You are in control of how things affect you. You have the power to control your own perspective. Secondly, and building on the power of perspective, is the power 
of forgiveness. Like the power of perspective, we can't control others' actions or many of life's events, but we can control our own perspectives, especially with the power of forgiveness. Every person in this room possesses this freeing power of forgiveness. Don't be afraid to forgive others, and don't be afraid to forgive yourselves. Seniors, every day can be a great day. Brighten your day every day with two powers you already possess, the power of perspective and the power of forgiveness. Society will be a better place because of you. I love you guys, and I'm so proud of all of you. Let's have a round of applause for these seniors again. And this is now the time that we've really been waiting for. It's time to present diplomas. Mr. Mike Johnson. Renee Abbott. <laughs> Bailey Reese Allred. Jordan McKenzie Allred. Macy Lee Arnold. J.C. Lauren Oberson. Jackson Reed Baker. Thomas Walter Barlow. Emma Amelia Bowman. Mason Anthony Beasley. Lily Anna Beeson. Nathan Ryan Beckler. Connor Lee Bilbrey. Elsie Bella Love Billings. Laney Grace Blair. Baker Lane Blankenship. Cody Wayne. Olden Blodgett. Kyle Lane Olden Blodgett. Joseph Bohorquez Aparicio. Alana Jean Bowers. Aston Samuel Bowers. <laughs> A 
Alyssa Shay Bowman. Isaiah Wade Bowman. Diaz Americus Brown. Trevor Clay Brown. Cora Savannah Rain Bruner. Stephen Ray Burt. Evelyn May Butler. Kobe Allen Cantrell. Alyssa Faith Chaffin. Avery Grace Chaffin. Peyton Reed Clark. Aiden Daniel Cobian Ponce. Darren Robert Knatzer. Cora Cheyenne Connor. Braxton Clark Copeland. Challen Randall Copeland. Lily Grace Copeland. Nathan Allen Kogel. David Curtis Cox. Jaden Lee Cummings. Tesseray Faith Cummins. James Haskell Cunningham. Logan Alexander Cunningham. Cora Beth Kurd. Hannah Renee Daly. Jessica Eileen Daly. Adam Patrick Dale. Jason Lance Daniel. Madison Grace Daniels. Luke Wyatt Danner. Christopher Tyler Davis. Kara Sage Diaz. Gavin Ray Dickerson. Jaritzel Miranda Demas. Yeah. 
Leah Faith Drake. Emma Reese Dolworth. Courtney Faye Duncan. Joshua Dalton Edmonds. Braden Thomas Edwards. Nicholas Jathan Emmerich. Elaney Ray Emery. Felicity Grace Farrell. Bryson Dutch Fletcher. Gracie Kendall Garrett. Sway Ford. Kaylin Diane Garrett. Seth Devoy Garrett. Madeline K. Gall. Logan Price Gilbert. Blake Zachary Godwin. Micah Jabez Goldstein. Easton Cole Goodpasture. Dylan Everett Goolsby. Caitlin Elizabeth Gordon. Gregory Stephen Gore Jr. Savannah Danielle Gore. Nora K. Groves. Taylor Ann Hall. Abigail Ann Hammock. Jeremy Caden Hammock. Lachlan Christopher Hammock. Madison Grace Hammock. Ashlyn Grace Haney. Chase Aiden Harris. Haley Beth Hawkins. Garrett Neil Henley. McKenna Presley Hicks. Nora Kate Hill.
Lexi Susanna Christine Hogue. Aiden Ray Hooks. Melanie Paula Ibanez. Devin Michael Isabel. Cameron Lane Jackson. Ashton Faith Jenkins. Jaden Cole Jenkins. Alex Paul Johnson. Andrew Michael Johnson. Carly Rain Johnson. Chase Hayden Johnson. Isis Nicole Johnson. Logan Cecil Johnson. Matthew Dale Johnson. Shane Cole Johnson. Ethan Kyle Jolly. Matthew Blaine Jolly. Caleb Aaron Jones. Zachary Michael Caney. Cameron Eliza Kelly. Gracie May King. James Weston King. Jewel Beth Krantz. Nicole Elizabeth Lamakia. Jonathan William Randall Langley. Andrew Christopher Ledbetter. Anthony Willie J.T. Ledbetter. Hallie Nicole Ledbetter. Susanna Elizabeth Ledbetter. Parker Cole Ledford. Jessica Leanne Lindsay. Rachel Elizabeth Long. Peyton Elliot Looper. Isabel Aaliyah Mamana. <laughs> Jay.
John Anthony Connor Mersick. Aaliyah Gail Melton. Eli Wayne Melton. Tanner Bradley Mick. Aaron James Moffitt. James Waylon Montu. Chloe Elizabeth Morgan. Jacob Randall Morgan. Ellie Grace Naff. Madison Book Neff. Eliza Ann Nelson. James Cameron Norris. Colin Benjamin Norad. Karen Manubai Patel. Tucker Allen Wade Pendergrass. Boyce Otis Pentecuff. Hayden Lane Phillips. Kaylee Ann Phillips. Madison Shea Phillips. Rory Allen Peer Jr. Sarah Fay Poor. Elijah Zane Presley. Aaliyah Marie Pritchard. James Denton Qualls. Quentin Lee Qualls. Joshua Cade Ramsey. Caden Crawford Randall. Abby Faith Ray. Dawson Christopher Ray. Connor Bryant Reagan. Connor Virgil Reagan. Troy McKay Reagan.
Landon Fletcher Redman. Heston Cross Robbins. Alexis Grace Roberts. Lucas Colin Roberts. Timothy Michael Robertson. Nathaniel Martin Rose. Elizabeth Ann Rudd. Matthew Shane Savage. Amelia Ruth Scarlett. Trinity Nicole Schultz. Trenton Michael Scott. Augustus McCray Sells. Thomas George Sevier. Kara Beth Shope. Gracie Marie Skinner. Braden Lee Slater. Anna Marie Grace Smith. Avery Ann Smith. Braden Gage Smith. Kobe Michael Smith. Jonathan Tyler Lee Smith. Leah Summer Smith. Zoe Alexandria Snyder. Marissa Nicole Speck. Keaton Gage Stainbrook. Matthew Riley Stockton. Christian Cole Story. Isaac Benjamin Story. Emma Grace Lynn Sullivan. Abby Grace Swallows. Eli Daniel, Daniel Swallows. <laughs> Lorelai Annalie Swango. Gabrielle Jade Thompson.
Lily Ann Trotter. Theodore Ryan Tudhope. Grant Lee Turner. Troy William Vaughn. Colton Jeffrey Lee Walker. Jackson Ray Walker. Madison Ree Ward. Kevin Dwayne Watkins. Skyler Dale Watkins. Zachary Brian Welch. Branson Elihu Wells. Hannah Grace Westmoreland. Abigail Grace White. David Chance White. Luke Evan White. Haley Faith Winningham. Joshua Charles David Winningham. Zachary Thomas Willems. Zachary Thomas Young. Sometimes you improvise. Congratulations, Livingston Academy class of 2023. At this time, if the band members would come forward, we'd like to sing, have them lead us in singing of our alma mater. Are they singing from back there? I don't know what you're saying. We have our band members come forward to lead us in the singing of the alma mater.
Ready. Cities northern border reared against the sky. On the city's northern border reared against the sky. Proudly stands our alma mater as the Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, band. Traditionally, the turning of the tassel from right to left symbolizes the transition from candidate for graduation to actual graduate. Don't throw them yet. Class of 2023, you may turn your tassels. Please remain standing for our closing remarks at this time by Isaac Story, and then I have something else to say. Let us pray. As we come to a close tonight, we want to thank you for your grace and mercy, Lord, that led us to this point in our lives. Thank you for all of the people you placed in our lives that helped us get here, parents, grandparents, teachers, and friends. We ask that you watch over all of us as we enter the next phase of our lives. Please guide us and help us make choices that please you and put all the honor to you, Lord. Just please watch over us as we leave here today, and please be with us in all that we do. And thank you for all the many blessings that you've given us, Lord. And most of all, we want to thank you for sending your son, Jesus, who died on the cross for our sins so that we can have the hope in heaven with you. It's in your son's name we pray. Amen. Amen. Very good. Thank you. I appreciate you. I'll wait till you get back. Thank you, Isaac. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Test run there. There's a song coming up in just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Livingston Academy Class of 2023.